Princess Smarty Pants by Babette Cole. Princess Smarty Pants did not want to get married. She enjoyed being a miss because she was very pretty and rich, and all the princes wanted her to be their missus. Princess Smarty Pants wanted to live in her castle with her pets and do exactly as she pleased. It's high time you smartened yourself up, said her mother, the queen. Stop messing about with those animals and find yourself a husband. Suitors were always turning up at the castle, making a nuisance of themselves. Right, declared Princess Marty Pants. Whoever can accomplish the tasks that I set will, as they say, win my hand. She asked Prince Compost to stop the slugs from eating her garden. She asked Prince Rushforth to feed her pets. She challenged Prince Pelvis to a roller disco marathon. She invited Prince Boneshaker for a cross country ride on her motorbike. She called on Prince Vertigo to rescue her from her tower. She sent Prince Bushthumb to chop some firewood in the royal forest. She suggested to Prince Fetlock that he might like to put her pony through its paces. She told Prince Grovel to take her mother, the queen, shopping. She commanded Prince Swimbladder to retrieve her magic ring from the goldfish pond. None of the princes could accomplish the task he was set. They all left in disgrace. That's that then, said Smarty Pants, thinking she was safe. Huh. Then Prince Swashbuckle turned up. He stopped the slugs eating her garden, fed her pets, Roller disco until dawn. Rode for miles on her motorbike. He rescued her from her tower. He found some firewood in the forest. He even tamed her hoary pony. Took her mother, the queen shopping, and retrieved her magic ring from the goldfish pond. Prince Swashbuckle didn't think Princess Marty Pants was so smart. So. She gave him a magic kiss, and he turned into a gigantic warty toad. Prince Swashbuckle left in a big hurry. When the other princes heard what had happened to Prince Swashbuckle, none of them wanted to marry Smarty Pants. So, she lived happily ever after.